What's going on muchachos? It is moving day, moving week, and it is chaos in the Camacho household. I feel like you guys can probably tell we've acquired more packed boxes. Hi baby. Poor Alondra is not feeling good. She threw up, oh my God, three, four times last night. I know, and she's stuffy and has a really bad cough again. I just don't know, but hopefully she gets better soon. Yeah, you're wearing your Jasmine bracelet. So it's definitely a long night, but Woo, I'm frozen. I need to unfreeze. I have lots of work to do. No. Please. Please. <gasps> Thank you, baby. I have a bunch of empty boxes taped up, like ready to go. That way we can just grab a box and pack. I'm gonna try to start in the closet over there. Uh, we packed about eight boxes last night and then I packed some more this morning. But yeah, honey love is Got the TV down, hi babe. And he's wrapping that up, so this looks super different. And then in our bathroom, we just got done, well I should say Edam just got done taking all this stuff down and patching up the holes. And then this white thing here, I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, cause like, I mean, do I ever show myself on the toilet? No, but this thing is like, it was so ragged and jagged, like it's been destroyed through all of our moves. We've had it since Minnesota, so finally throwing that away, but it housed like a bunch of my, my makeup stuff, but Anyways, that is taken down. So for me, it looks like hella different, but got our oils in there. So yeah, we're trying to get as much done as we can. My dad is officially on the way. My brother can't come. Well, one brother's in college, and so obviously school. And then the other brother can't come because he had work, he couldn't get it off. I mean, it makes sense, it's Thanksgiving week. But it's 10.54 a.m., we've had a really early morning. We already went, because we had to change. Well. One of the cars, the renewal was due, so we had to go to a different county, like our new county, to get that done. So we had to go get the address change and pay that, and then it worked out perfect because people were there to like change your voter registration, so we got that done. Changed our driver's license address this morning. So we've been a busy, busy bee. So now we're just trying to like knock it out and just get as much packed as we can before we have to pick up the U-Haul at three. But I need to stop rambling. I just wanted to get the vlog started and say good morning and hello to you guys. I'm gonna get back to packing and I will check back in with you guys a little bit later with a progress update. I haven't checked in with you guys in quite a bit, but we are now picking up the U-Haul. Grandpa is coming, that's right. So Edama's inside doing all the whatever you got to do to get the truck we did reserve it so and they have a ton they have a smaller one and they have like really big ones I feel like we need a really big one but Iram is saying that like the ones that I'm looking at right here should be fine so I'm hoping it'll be okay I mean I guess like on the side it says two bedroom it's just looking at it it looks so small so I don't know I would also hate to spend more money for the big ones and then like you know, we don't really fill it up and we could have used a smaller one. I don't know. Why is stuff like so hard to like figure out measure? But I'm a visual person and so I need to like be able to like visually see something like work. Oh baby. Alondra, by the way, is definitely sick. Poor thing is so congested. Like my I poor threw baby. Up four times. You did throw up four times last night, by the way, not this morning. But it was because I think I said this earlier, she was choking on her phlegm. And uh, yeah, so it's been a really, really busy day. So Idam and I have just been crazy packing. We did run out of boxes, so we went to that place to get more free boxes. And so we got a bunch more boxes from them. And we've literally just been like knocking it out. It's getting kind of crazy in the apartment. We can barely move. So what we're gonna do, because we'll get back to the apartment before my dad gets there, um, we're gonna bring the truck and then we're just gonna start loading it up with boxes. So all the boxes we have ready to go, Yam and I are just gonna start loading it up and then as soon as my dad gets there, him and Iram, well, we might get lunch with my dad. I need to ask my dad if he's even hungry. Um, but we haven't had lunch, so we definitely need to get lunch. We really don't have anything to like cook and make. Plus, we don't want to dirty dishes because we want to pack up the rest of the kitchen. The kitchen is about 75% packed. Yes, baby? I want to tell Chacha something. You want to tell me Chacha something? What do you want to tell them? You want them to wish you feel better? I'm sure they are wishing you feel better, baby. I hope you feel better. I love you. That was so cute. And my poor baby, it's like, why? Why is she always getting, like yesterday she was fine. We were at the house all day yesterday, finishing the ship lab, which whew, 
Shiplap project, you guys. The Shiplap project. You will see. You will see. But I am excited. My clean with me video is going to go up. Tuesday. I don't even know when this vlog is gonna go up, this moving vlog, because we don't even have internet figured out yet. So, uh, to be determined, I guess, with this video here. I think I'm gonna like just add on a bunch of like days together to like complete this, but I guess you'll see as you keep watching. But anyways, oh, someone's coming. All right, I'm gonna see you guys at the house. All righty, we got our U-Haul. I'm so excited. I'm ready to load this baby up and like, let's go. We are not gonna take, I don't think anyways, we're not gonna take it over tonight. I think we're gonna take it over like early tomorrow morning, wake up at six o'clock. But tonight we're basically just gonna load it up and you know, have it ready for tomorrow morning. Just so you can see the progress. I know it, it looks hella crazy, and but the desk is gone. Wait, is it wiggles? You know something's going on and you are just freaking out. You are just freaking out. Don't worry, mamas. But the desk is gone. I just need to finish. I'm actually finishing getting like the printer and like my, uh, it's not a tripod, but it's how I film my plan with me. So I just need to get that packed up. Um, we just have to take like this stuff down, but the entertainment center is gone. And Alondra's room, the only thing we have gone is her dresser. So we still need to get with that stuff. But a lot of the kitchen stuff is gone. The only thing in the kitchen I need to get is like these mason jars, the toaster oven, coffee pot, but that'll be after tomorrow because we need our coffee tomorrow. And like those pots and pans right there. So honestly, not a lot. And then pantry stuff, we are gonna, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, baby. My strong man. But yeah, so um, fridge food, pantry food, spices, we're honestly not even gonna worry about it until, I don't know, we, we have until the second, so we're just not gonna stress. But as you can see, Edam is getting ready to take the dining room table out. And then in our room, we're gonna leave the mattress, that way we sleep on that tonight, but we just have to take this apart, that kind of stuff. And um, I mean, really, that's it. It just kind of looks like a mess. And then in the closet, everything is packed. In the bathroom, everything is packed, except obviously like a few toiletries that we'll need. So yeah, it's looking really, really, really good. I'm actually gonna go down and look at the U-Haul because Edom told me to come and look on the inside. So um, yeah, hopefully we can get, well, we're definitely gonna get all the furniture. Like that is our goal, getting the furniture into the U-Haul and getting it to our house tomorrow because that, we're not gonna have anyone to help us unload and load it. So that's the main thing. Obviously, if we can get as many boxes as possible, that would be great. You know, um, and my dad brought his truck, which is really awesome. I was gonna come look at it. Yeah. What, baby? Let me grab the box. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have brought it. No, I thought it was in the truck. Oh, okay. And um, so yeah, my dad brought his truck, which is awesome. So tomorrow morning, what we're gonna do is obviously have as much as we can of the U-Haul loaded up. Our goal is to have it completely done tonight, like fill it completely, and then we'll pack stuff in the morning in the bed of my dad's truck, and then we'll put stuff in the trunk of my car. And, um, oh wow, looks good. It's gonna be super dark, cause obviously it's dark. I don't even know what time it is, but obviously here is the couch. I'm really hope that the couch didn't get uh, destroyed, my poor baby, but I'm gonna have to worry about that another time. But, um, whew, it is dark in here, but definitely progress. Is Wiggles outside? Oh my gosh, Wiggles. It looks awesome, love. Right? My camera's not focused, but it looks great. Much, much, much later. It's after 11 o'clock at night, and we are finally done. Um, we need to get some more, like, ties or twine or something, so that way this not everything me. falls. Yes, baby? Guys, I want to tell you something. What do you want to tell them? You know why you're, we're so low? Why are we so low? Because uh, the little back feet is not on it. I know. We don't have a headboard. We're sleeping on the floor. Well, we have the mattress on the floor. But yeah, we, we basically got all of the furniture out. Um, we just need to get twine. That way boxes don't fall. And we want to tie them up good because obviously in the U-Haul, if they fall down, that's not good. <coughs> Oh, hey, baby. So Edom's gonna wake up her cough, as you guys can tell. I forget what I was talking about, but basically we got everything done. We just gotta get the tie so that way nothing falls. Then we'll load up the U-Haul with the rest of the boxes. And then we'll put more boxes in the back of my dad's truck and then more boxes in the 
CRV and we'll be good to go. We're definitely gonna get it all done, but it kind of like whacked Edam and I in the face when we were starting to load. We have a lot of shit. We honestly didn't think, I honestly didn't think we had that much stuff. And I had so much packing like pre-packed as you guys saw that I thought I was like ahead of the game. I mean, well, thank God I had so many boxes pre-packed, honestly. Like if I would have waited till today, that would have been bad news bears. But like, I felt like all today, cause my dad and Edam were just loading back and forth, back and forth. I was taking some boxes down too, but like when it got to the furniture, I wasn't. So I was like, okay, let me just keep up packing stuff. And I just felt like I got a box and packed it. Like I just was constantly packing. I'm like, when is this gonna end? Like I really didn't realize how much stuff we had. So Edom didn't realize either. Like we both just did not realize how much stuff we've accumulated. So what we thought was gonna be a really quick load, like moving everything into the the U-Haul actually was it was kind of like a wake up call so i can't wait to like unload everything we're gonna unload everything in the garage the furniture we're gonna like you know get to where it needs to go but we're gonna unload into the garage and i'm just gonna i'm gonna start doing like that marie kondo method and start decluttering and throwing stuff away i like to declutter and throw stuff away once i'm into the new home because i feel like if i do it while i'm packing i feel like it takes longer but I guess it's the same thing because if you're doing it while you unpack, I guess it takes longer too. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. It just, that's just how it works in my head. But I am rambling now. I know I honestly didn't pick up the camera a lot today to vlog. But we've just honestly just been go, go, go. Balls to the wall. Just like super busy. And that's just honestly how the next couple of days are going to be. But anyways, I'm feeling good. We're going to get it done. And yeah, I'm just really excited for tomorrow because tomorrow is like the official move into our home. Which is crazy. So I can't wait. So anyways, I'm going to say goodnight here and I will see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Good morning, muchachos. It is day two of our move. It is Tuesday and Edom's been up since 5 a.m. What time is it? It's currently 8.49. We are just loading up the last little bit. We probably will have to come back and get some other things, but it's like very minimal things. But whew, I'm out of breath. I've been loading the car up and down the stairs. But let me show you guys our progress. So as you can see here, the living room is practically empty. Hi, Weagles. We got most of the stuff on the balcony. My dad and Edom just took the mattress out, so the room is pretty much done. Hi, baby, good morning. Our closet is done. There's just a little bit of things in the bathroom, which is like toiletry stuff that, you know, we're using. Kitchen is basically done. We still have stuff in the fridge and the pantry, but we will come back another time for that. No big deal. Um, we have those two big like kitchen items, but like I said, we're gonna have to make another trip um, after we unload and drop off the U-Haul. This is in here. My dad slept in here, the air mattress. Oh, we gotta get the tent. Gotta get the little shopping cart. And then all these bags. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, but I mean, for the most part, in Alondra's closet it is done as well. Such a huge difference and I feel so much better like seeing everything gone because honestly I was like, oh my God, is this gonna work? And I honestly didn't think that little U-Haul truck was gonna work and it is. And we've already filled up my dad's truck completely. My car is almost completely filled up. I'm gonna just put a few more things inside. I'm trying to actually can this right now and see what else can go inside. But anyways, I just wanted to say good morning, show you guys the progress, get the vlog started. And um, I guess I'll see you guys at the house when we start unloading. So we're at the house. Well, we've been at the house for a while. I totally wanted to do a montage of my dad and Edom emptying out the U-Haul, but they brought in the couch and I started vacuuming it because it really needed to be vacuumed. And I come out and the U-Haul is completely empty, you guys. I seriously cannot believe they emptied it so quickly. And we have everything inside the garage um, for now. And I seriously didn't think everything was gonna fit inside the garage, but it does, thankfully. We got here a little bit after 10, like 10, 15 or something like that too. We ate our McDonald's breakfast and it's 11.50. Oh yeah, they didn't start offloading till 11 because we ate breakfast and stuff. And it's, so we basically, actually I should say, my dad and Inan basically got everything done in an hour. And we had my dad's truck completely covered in, well not covered, but filled with boxes. And then we also had the inside of his truck with boxes and then we had the CRV with boxes but we still have more stuff at the apartment we don't have a ton though so like with one load we should be able to get it all done but 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And just to show you guys the inside here, here's the couches, I was vacuuming them. The TV stand, I do definitely need to like vacuum and mop, but first we're gonna return the U-Haul because you know, that way it's just out of here. Dining room table. But anyways you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys later because we wanna turn in the U-Haul so we don't get charged another day. And then also we wanna take a picture outside in front of the house, you know, with the U-Haul moving day. So I will check in with you guys later. Back at the apartment and we have basically loaded up everything. Um, we just have like, you know, literally a few things. Um, this, we need to still take off the walls and patch up the holes and same with that right there, but we are going to do that when we come back to clean in a couple of days, but basically empty. Ooh, coffee filters. We cannot forget those. Oh my gosh, I would be so upset. Couldn't have my coffee tomorrow morning. But everything is out of the cabinets, completely out. We do still have food in the fridge, but I mean, I don't really think it's that. Mm, not that much. Um, and then we just have a little bit of things in the laundry room. Okay, three things that's like on it. Well, and some like laundry detergent, but that's really, really nothing. And our pantry just has a couple of stuff left. We're not trying to get like all of these little things, but what we can get now we can. And then our room is completely empty, which is so crazy. Our bathroom is completely empty. We just left the trash can, that way we, you know, we can fill it up with water and like when we clean the shower and stuff. These hooks I need to throw away, but I'll just take those down when we come back to clean and throw them away. And like I said, everything is completely gone. And then our closet is completely empty. It's so crazy to see this place empty. Alondra's room is empty except for her bed. We are trying to sell it, so hopefully we do sell it. Oh, hi baby, did I wake you up? I'm sorry, mamas. Hallway closet is empty. And her bathroom. I am just leaving this until it's time to throw it away. I'm leaving wipes and toilet paper for when we come back to clean. Like toilet cleaner stuff when we come back to clean. And then shower stuff when we come back to clean. I didn't want to take all the cleaning supplies to the new house because well, then we're going to have to bring it all back just to clean i don't know it's kind of like a balance because i also do want to like clean a little bit at the new house but i mean it is what it is but we're just basically trying to get everything we can to fill up my dad's truck and our car and then go to the house this will be our last trip and then we're gonna try to come and clean hopefully on friday just because yes we're gonna try to come back on friday to clean we were thinking oh we'll come back tomorrow wednesday and clean but that's not gonna work because we're having security installed and we're having the washer and dryer. Wiggles, come here. Wiggles is like freaking out, like what's happening? And she keeps like running all over the place. You're coming with us. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're having security come and we're having the washer and dryer being delivered. And we know when the security is coming, but we don't know when the washer and dryer. So we don't wanna have to like be rushed. I mean, if they're both coming at the same time, then we could come here in the morning and potentially start cleaning. Um, so we'll see, like that would be great. You know, the more we start cleaning now, the better. We were hoping Enam's mom would be able to come and help us clean, but she's not able to come, which is totally fine. I mean, it's not like she's required to or anything like that. Just would have been nice because she's so good at all that stuff. But anyways, yeah, we literally just have in here empty boxes, which are gonna get thrown out because we're not gonna use them. Christmas wrapping paper and a TV, which we're gonna try to put it in the back of my dad's truck. If not, we'll just get it when we come back. But we're basically moved out and we're gonna be staying the first night like in our new home, which is so exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's currently 319, so I feel like we've gotten so much done today. I feel like we've done a really, really good job. But anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing so I can get the rest of what we need to get and head back to the house. We made it back to the house, our house, and we have a special surprise. Pizza! Pizza, that's I right. That's right, Taylor and Casey got it for us, huh? Thanks, Taylor and Casey, we appreciate it. A mushroom? I'll eat it. You're welcome. And we're back here again. Hi, Dad. I haven't said, shown you at all in the vlog. Say hi to muchachos. And look, look at my dad's shirt. Represent what what. We are in our second Home Depot, you guys. Uh, the first one we went to, we only were able to get some of the items that we needed. And now at the second one, we're getting to the rest of the stuff. So we just got a bunch of smart tiles, which I'm really excited about. That's gonna be for the back 
backsplash of our laundry room. Are you okay? And then, of course, they had a sale on a shower curtain rod. It's a curved rod. You get the shower hooks and like the, what is that? I don't, it's not vinyl, but whatever that clear thingy is. Anyways, they had a bunch when we were there a couple days ago. We're like, ah, oh, we'll come back and get it. Well, today they only had one. So now we're coming to this other one because this other one has them. So hopefully we get the rod. We got the smart tiles, so we're good. We also got the white paint we need for the shiplap. And we got like a couple other things. So, I mean, we're just going to all the Home Depots. Like we're just gonna be like, <laughs> we're gonna be regulars, I feel like, for like ever at Home Depot because we also have other projects we wanna do for like the hallway. But first we gotta finish our shiplap and then start the laundry room project. Unfortunately, we're two days behind on where we wanted to be with our projects, but it's okay. They'll get done and we live in the home now. It's ours, so we have a while to go you know, to get everything done. One eternity later. We are home, which is so nice to say because literally, we are home. It's 10 o'clock at night, we've all showered. I know, our new home. We used our microwave for the first time to heat up the uh, pizza, and we used our showers for the first time, both of them, very exciting stuff. So we just got done taking a shower. We, you guys, we ended up having to go to three Home Depots. Three. So, good thing three. is though, is that we got everything that we wanted, but we had to go to three Home Depots to get it. But hey, we got it, that's all that matters. My dad hooked us up with his military discount. Thank you, sir. So I'll give you guys a quick Home Depot haul. I mean, you guys probably are not excited about this at all or don't even care. Is this all we got, is four things? Yeah. Or technically three things, but... Oh no, the other thing's over there. Okay, so, oh, do you wanna show them this? You wanna show them this? Okay, come here, come here. What is that, Alondra? Olaf. Olaf? Where's that gonna go? Our backyard. No, our front yard. Our front yard. Yeah, it's a Christmas Olaf. So cute, huh? Good. Yeah, there's stuff inside. It's Olaf inside. Isn't that so cool? You know, he's gonna light up and he's gonna be, well, he's not big. You know, we're not spending a hundred something dollars for a big one. Yeah. He's like, how tall is he, babe? Three and a half feet. Three and a half feet? So like what, Alondra's height? Like Alondra's height. Yeah, super cute. Right here, see? Oh, like this? Oh yeah, you want me to show the picture? There you go. There he is, our first Christmas decoration. It's Christmas now. I know, Daddy can put that up. Right now? No, not right now, but. Yeah, Eventually. So the Olaf is the first Home Depot we went to and we also got from Glacier Bay, it's an adjustable curved shower rod combo. So you get the curved shower rod, uh, you also get these aluminum double roller shower hooks, which I need these because mine rusted and went bad in both showers. And then you also get the frosted liner, which I need because both went bad. So you got this whole shower rod combo, and this is a curved shower rod, which I really wanted a curved shower rod, and it's chrome, which I wanted, so it was just, you know, meant to be. So anyways, this was on sale for $19.88, I think, or $19.98. So if you are wanting to get one of these, type in this number into the search engine on Home Depot's website, and it'll tell you what stores have them. So anyways, we got the Olaf and one of these because they only had one um, at the first Home Depot and then we also got at the first Home Depot this guy here, which this is sideways, but Christy had commented on my empty house tour telling me about this and that she has one and I looked it up and I was like, oh my God, yes. So it's like, it clips on to like your window and it's like a blind, you know? So anyways, we ended up getting this as well. Then at the second Home Depot, which is where I vlogged and told you guys we were getting these smart tiles. So we got a four pack. They had 11 of them, so we ended up buying 11 um, just to be safe because um, these are gonna go in the laundry room as like a backsplash. But it's really cool, they're glossy and they look like real subway tiles and they're pretty thick. Cause I was looking at a bunch of different brands and they were all like paper, paper thin, all the other brands. But this one is a little bit thick and you Daddy. literally just cut it with, um, with what, what kind of knife is it? A utility. a utility knife. 
So you don't need like a power tool and it looks super professional, like real. And I really wanted the white subway tile with the gray grout, as you can tell. They have different versions of this. The brand is Smart Tiles. You could get the white subway tile with the white grout. They have different color subway tile. But um, yeah, so the brand is Smart Tiles and I'm really excited. And it's a peel and stick, so it should be relatively easy. I hope anyways. So yeah, this is gonna go in the laundry room and I like that it's glossy. So we got 11 of these bad boys. And you know, if we bought too much, we'll just return them, no biggie. Oh, I know, your new kitty that Mima got you. Okay, you wanna show them? Chichachos. <laughs> Do it again. Chichachos. <laughs> so basically you push the button and talk and the cat repeats what you say. So it's basically Alondra in cat form because she loves to repeat every single thing that you say. And now we have another one, so you know. Hello. 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 Oh my gosh. And then at the third Home Depot, we got another one of these. So that is our Home Depot haul. Hopefully we can uh, take it easy on these Home Depot trips for a while because we've gone to Home Depot six, two, three, four, five, like six or seven times in like the past couple of days. And you know, our, our wallets need a little break, you know what I'm saying? But it's so hard, it's addicting because yeah, you have this house and then I'm a type of person who wants to like, I have these ideas for the house so I just wanna do all of my ideas at once but uh, it's a thing called cash money that uh, we're lacking right now so I gotta slow down. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and just honestly end the vlog here because- My kitty wants to help. Your kitty wants to help in the vlog? Okay. So say, I hope you enjoy today's vlog. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Because we're to dance our stuff, dance our stuff, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, bitch, <laughs> Good job. <laughs>